My name is Sister Anna Rasmussen, and I'm a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I am from Utah, a little town in eastern Utah called Roosevelt. My favorite part about being a missionary is the people, um, the people that I've met, the people that I've served with and that I've grown to love. Um, I think that's the greatest part about missionary work is just working with and loving these people. Uh, the people who have had the biggest impact on me have been my teaching companions. Um, each of them have touched me in a way that I never thought possible, um, and they were put into my life exactly when I needed them, um, and they are now my, my best friends, <laughs> and um, I can't preach my life without them. I don't know what I did before the mission. Um, growing up, I grew up as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and um, the things that my parents taught me and the things that I learned through study and through applying in my life um, ultimately prepared me to come on a mission and to share what I know and what I believe with these people. Um, I don't think anything prepared me for the culture here or the people. It's unlike anything that I've ever experienced before, but I've grown to love it with my whole heart. It was a little bit of a culture shock, yes. Um, growing up in Utah, you kind of live in this little bubble. <laughs> and so I was exposed to a lot of things that I had never seen before or experienced before, um, at least like up close and personal. But I've grown to love the Hispanic culture. Um, South Texas really is just Mexico in the United States, and I love it. My first impression was that it is hot and humid, <laughs> um, very different from my home climate, um, but I felt very at home, surprisingly. Um, I knew that this is where I needed to be. I knew that God placed me here for a reason, and I was excited to get to work and to share what I know and what I love with the people here. I have found some of those reasons as to why I was placed here, but I also know that some of those reasons I probably won't um, come to realize in this life. Um, but I do know and trust that God has a perfect plan for me and for the people that He has led me to. And yeah. So as missionaries, it's really cool because we get to see um, firsthand the change that takes place in people's lives as they grow closer to Jesus Christ as they apply his teachings in their lives and as they repent um, and become better better people and better followers of him. And so I think the biggest miracle that I've seen is that drastic change from drug dealers and murderers and people who spent time in prison to these followers of Jesus Christ who love him with their whole heart and would do anything to serve him and to serve his children. I think there are countless blessings that come from serving a mission. Um, I think I've seen most of those blessings go to my family at home. Um, we are spending a lot of time apart. We spend a year and a half apart um, as I'm here serving as a sister missionary. But they have been blessed and protected in ways that um, I don't think would have been possible if I wasn't making this sacrifice to serve a mission and to serve the Lord. Um, the biggest motivation for me is that I have felt the power of Jesus Christ in my own life. I felt his redeeming love and I want to share it with others because these people are in need of hope and peace, whether they realize it or not. And I felt that in my life and I, I want them to experience those same blessings because it's something that everyone is searching for even if they don't realize it. Deep down growing up, I always knew that the church was true. Um, I was raised by wonderful parents and um, my siblings were great examples to me of being members of the church and following Jesus Christ. But I think that everyone has a moment in their life, a time when they have to um, do a, a self-analysis and, um, and figure out whether or not they, they truly believe in this gospel and in Jesus Christ. And so I actually didn't fully come to know for myself that this is Jesus Christ Church until um, about a year before I started my mission. Um, and it was a long process. It took a lot of um, hard work and sacrifice on my, on my part, um, studying the scriptures and going to church weekly, and a lot of prayer, <laughs> a lot of counseling with my Heavenly Father. But I um, wouldn't change it for anything because those experiences have allowed me to know without a doubt that this church is true. I hope people come to understand our purpose better as missionaries. Um, I hope they can see that we are real people here, um, that we have a very divine purpose 
I'm inviting them to come into Jesus Christ. And I hope that they will give our message a chance. Um, and that they will, they will act on those things that we ask them to do. Um, so they can feel those, um, those blessings that come as we follow Jesus Christ and as we take part in his restored gospel. Deep down, yes, I'm excited to see my family. I'm excited to see my loved ones and um, get back into real life. But I have gone to the point now in my mission where I don't want to leave. <laughs> I love my mission and I love the people here a lot. I'm Sister Anna Rasmussen and I'm a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.